What is up guys, we are back with some more GTA 5. We just got a call from someone and uh, apparently I'm doing a mandatory mission right now, so... While that was happening, I, um, I, was I wasn't able to record the call I just got, but... Since we just now uh, got this mandatory mission, I'm gonna go ahead and start it real quick. The fuck? <laughs> Sweet Jesus. What the hell are you doing? Nothing. Are you taking a dump? Ah, why do you care, huh? The fuck is wrong with you? Uh, I got abandonment issues. I see a shrink once a week. You know, fuck you. Yeah, well, you know, nothing like meeting a bunch of creeps from the government in a quiet building for someone to grow balls. You see his face that last time I popped it. <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you? You, I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher! <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. <laughs> you, mm. where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the sleep best of the way from me. No, oh, no, no, Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. Oh. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now, our friend here... He claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know. I already told nothing. Nothing. I don't know anything. Please. Please. Sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP. You know? You're so. a fucking spy. <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. So I need to know. What did you tell them? What did they tell you? I, I, told hmm? them, I told them what I tell you. Uh huh. What? I. Hey. This whoa, whoa, whoa! What is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You I two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. Because no, 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 I'm tired of these fucking nitwits at the agency taking all the glory. Let me go. Hey, fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know? Go for a drive. Wait, wait. wait. No. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. The guy's your neighbor. Caesar's Place, Rockford Hills. I really don't like that guy in that polo shirt, in that green polo shirt. Just got a bad vibe about him. Just something, something ain't quite right about him. And I've had Man, bad feelings like that before, and they usually end up do becoming you, very, very so bad. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit, and that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo -hoo 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 for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. My bad. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. Don't. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? 
Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent 10 years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or, or, we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away. Stop! Damn it. Trevor got away. The FIB cut you a deal Thankfully that wasn't a car, that would have sucked. And you end up here. This is bullshit. This place, Davy. They've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him, just to make sure? We're silencing someone. We're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Hey, you want a coffee? Some water? Torture Just him. It was the wrong Azerbaijan. Oh, man. You need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work up. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait. What are you talking about, the wrong guy? No. Who do you want? Just tell me what you want. Huh, man? Huh, please. Look at me, please. Hmm. What should we do? We'll do this one. Sparky, Sparky! Not the jumping! My heart! You can't! Don't zap me! Left clip with the right clip. Don't do it! Yes. Not Want to go no. down a little bit. Turn him off. Not that. We need it moderately. <laughs> oh, I think he's getting a stiffy. <laughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tay here. Javan. Why didn't you ask me? I know Tay here. I did his home theater. He lived in Chumash, the right into the Western Highway. Oh. Well, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> Everyone just throws their cups wherever they want to. They're like, ah, who cares? Let's litter. <laughs> That's lovely. One of my friends is like, dude, that part's so hard to play because you torture someone. I'm like, really? That's what GTA is all about, man. Madness. That's fun. We're trying to take full advantage of Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about it? Whoops. I need some resolution, Davy. Barely overshot it. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job. No casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad. Who he thinks is locked up in high security and not... This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Oh, no, no, please. I'll tell what? you what you Loosen want him to up. Know. No, please. <clears throat> Which one should we get this time? We'll do this one. Not the water board. Not the water. It's so 
That sucks. Please don't. You shouldn't be legal. Always by the board. Oh, that sucks, man. He's wet, all right. Let up. Let's get him upright. <coughs> I thought I was dead. <coughs> it was all a dream. It's a nightmare. Hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I've been ready to talk since the day I got kidnapped six weeks That's ago. That's what we were afraid of. No, I mean, so, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Home. This guy we're after, what does he look like? Average build? Come on. Average height? Middle age? Yeah, yeah, it sounds like you're stalling. This better be enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark, okay? He's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. Not enough for you? Okay. <clears throat> Where's he at? You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani, for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks eastern, Davy. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. Oh, man. <sighs> that ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit. I, 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 let me think. I. <laughs> Oh, Sorry, too God. late, Trevor. Show our contestant what he's won today. Let's see. Let's go ahead and grab this one. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Oh, I see. The other way. Ow! So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 He's got fear. Oh, he's he's got fear. Uh huh. Fear. uh -huh. No. I think you're making this up. No, no, I'm not. Huh? No. Yeah. I'm telling the truth. Bushy beard? You got any beardy types at this party? Huh? Because that's all Mr. K's giving us. Huh. No. You know, I'm thinking maybe we ought to just take two bullets and put them in our Please, no. and just call an airstrike on Chumash Beach. We're back in. Give me some eyes. Okay. Well, so he has a beard. Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific or is some stubble gonna cut it. Let's start at Mountain Men and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Ah, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. Man. It's gonna be a long day. Can't, can't figure out who it is. On our target. Oh, he's, he's, he's got beard. His folks. He looks like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, maybe one more time? Just to be sure. No, please, no. Uh -huh. I told you, he smokes. That's all I know. Let's grab this one. Where you want it? Nowhere. <laughs> e -L -E 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 -E. I hope you're not a scared. Ow. What's that? 
He chain smokes and he's left handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> In these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes, Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Redwood cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. Smoking a cigarette. Chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left handed. I'm. T ah, I see someone. He fits the What do you know? Out. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. About well, as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. Now I'm taking the shot. Baby, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe. Could be. Used to be. Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now I got a racquetball <laughs> game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <laughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's the sport. <coughs> let's go, come on. Wait a second, me too. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. What? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go, get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. Oh, fuck's sakes. Come on, let's go. All right, now you got a flight to catch, okay? Let's get you to the airport. Oh, safety first. Yes. <laughs> now they care. How's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kind of. Are you gonna hold it together? I want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 no. You have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. They're in the morning wood. I love them very much. No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home. I'm taking you to the airport. You're gonna get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country and you're gonna spread your message. I don't have a message. You're a torture advocate. Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We need it to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything. Exactly. Tortures for the torturer, or the guy giving the order to the torturer. You torture for the good times. We should all admit that. It's useless as a means of getting information. I'm feeling lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torturee, but only if they're prepared to pay. I am very unwell. Departures. Now that we... Run! You're free! Oh, what? But my family is here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? And look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on. I don't think he's gonna actually go on the plane. It's not every day you see some bleeding guy with no shirt running around in the airport. <laughs> Whoops. Was not paying attention. Why do I have cops on me exactly? <laughs> Did he call the cops on me? I got no idea why I got cops on me. Whatever, let me uh, set a waypoint to this.
But yeah, if the media thought that the hot coffee mod was bad, just wait until they find out this torture scene in this game. <laughs> yeah, just you wait. They're gonna be like, holy shit, that's inappropriate. Yeah, that's gonna make people want to torture in real life. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, not really, no.